everybody, it's Kim the Crafty Nomad and I am here to do another little craft with me and here I'm just showing you the resin I'm using. This is a new one um, that I tried. I got that off of Amazon and it actually came with mixing cups and I am, um, I like it uh, because it is low odor and it's definitely a low odor and I'm showing you my choices of glitter here. Uh, I think the coral one came from Hobby Lobby and the rest came from Michael's and uh, the bag is We Are Memory Key Keepers and um, the other two are the Creatology uh, line from Michael's. So now I am just going to go ahead and pour out uh, the resin. I'm going to put in equal parts because this is a one to one uh, mix and it is... Um, equal parts of the hardener and the resin so in one cup i think i put like 60 millimeters of the um i put 60 millimeters of the uh hardener and 60 millimeters milliliters i'm sorry milliliters of the resin itself and, and then i'm going to grab a plastic cup eventually but right, right i guess i just i just looks like that was the hardener that i just put in and then i am going to now put in the resin and you could see when i pour the resin it's much more viscous um the uh hardener is more liquidy so that is the same amount of resin. I like the measuring cups that came with this. Uh, I am now have them trying to see if I can actually clean out what was in them. I'm hoping that they are going to be reusable. If they were silicone, it would be no problem. But this is not silicone. They're just plastic. So we'll see. So now I'm pouring each one into a plastic cup. And I think I'm going to either grab a stir stick or I'm going to grab a... I don't think I went and got the... Uh, <laughs> I eventually go and get the uh, popsicle sticks because they really do work better than those little spoons that I got off of AliExpress. Uh, the spoons are going to be better for just putting in the glitter. But the stirring should have been done really with a... Um, what is it? With a... Uh, popsicle stick so uh anyway i'm trying to get out as much as possible out of the stir the um the cups into the plastic cup and i will eventually just begin to mix them um and what what you'll see in a second is that they when you first start mixing the resin it is um kind of start it looks cloudy like you could see like sort of like a cloudiness or a threadiness where one uh i think the the hardener is uh sort of threading through but you basically mix it for about three minutes and there is a point where i do set a timer uh for three minutes so that um you can uh you know, so I can know when to stop. And what the other thing I liked about this resin, yeah, so I'm saying three minutes here. <laughs> and um, what I like about this resin was that it got clear and it did not get bubbly, which is so fantastic. So this, so far, I'm really liking this resin because the last one that I used, which was the amazing, the amazing clear casting resin, and it definitely, definitely got bubbly and um, then you got to get rid of all those bubbles. But you see, this is, I've, I've stirred it and it's fairly clear at this point. That's how the three minute mark pretty much is, I'm almost there at that point. So now I am going to begin to divide uh, the resin up between um, the, uh, I already poured it out, poured out some for the colors. And in this one, I'm putting in black glitter because I want all of the afros to be black. So Afro puff, um, and afros will be black. Now I will be doing some different color hair, but I just went ahead and started with the black on this one. And I put dumped in a lot, a lot of, um, 
of uh, glitter because I really want it to be opaque. I don't want there to be where you can kind of see through the resin and that will be achieved by me putting in a lot, a lot of glitter. Now, I could have put in just a little one or two drops of black acrylic paint to kind of help that out, but I didn't think about that, so I didn't do it. So now I'm going to begin to make the other colors. I started with purple. And here you can see this is the best use of those little spoons. Not really uh, the way I was using them initially. And this is really all I should have done with them. But I do, do still stir with these as well. But in the future, I won't use them for anything except putting in the glitter. Now, again, it's very little resin in these little cups, but I don't want them to be see-through at all. And I'll stir them and eventually show you the spoon and you'll be able to see where they look solidly purple. And if they don't look solidly whatever color I put in, then I put in a little more red, um, glitter uh, because I didn't bring over any of the colorants that I have that would have sort of helped that out. So yeah, I wasn't satisfied. So I put just a little more in and I stirred up some more. And I'm going to eventually get satisfied with that and move on. Now, I think one of them I put way too much. I think in the uh, turquoise one, I end up putting uh, a, a whole lot of uh, <laughs> glitter. But it, it still works out. It's worked out fine. So here, when I picked up the spoon there, you could see that it was pretty opaque. And so I'm going to be careful to put the tops back on as soon as possible so that uh, if we happen to knock this thing over, that we won't actually actually knock over all of the um all of the glitter because that would be nightmarish so i'm moving on and this is the one where i dumped a whole whole lot and look i <laughs> and it's gonna be really uh thick and um it's fine though it still works out beautifully but i didn't really need to put as much in as i did so you see how quickly and how thick and solid that was starting to get already and i thought that the resin might have been setting up but it wasn't it was just i put a whole lot now this resin on the on the bottle it says it has a 40 minute working time which uh, from my understanding i could be wrong but that it will still be movable like it won't start to totally harden until after 40 minutes so you have time and with a process like this I really needed the time because I'm trying to do 11 uh, keychains at once here and I was really not even sure if I had made enough of a resin but it turned out I made just exactly I actually had more than enough actually and you will see in the end that I pull out another um, mold to use up what I have left and so um, so that's a beautiful corally color so this the theme for uh, these ones are uh, gonna be the purple uh, the pink the coral purple wait purple the coral and turquoise um i really miss the yellow but these are turning out pretty but the next set will definitely have a yellow and more of a hot pink i'm planning to do some red black and green ones uh um uh, just with the afros being black and then the rest of it being uh red and green that'll be like totally perfect and I'm just really looking forward uh, to continuing on with the process here and uh, still mixing that's the pink one that I have I have more of a hot pink that I'm going to eventually use so now I am starting the process everything is mixed and I decided to use a pipette to put in the hair because I want all of those details so I'm going around the edges I'm going around the whole that will be for the um, uh, keychain. I want to make sure I get that, that resin right up in there. And so I decided that the pipette would be the best way to go uh, with picking up the resin and getting it into the spots that I needed to go into. And it actually turned out to be a really good way of doing this. I think we'll see what the results um, when we 
demold these but for right now uh i think from the way everything is looking as i am doing this this was a smart move to use the pipette because i really wanted to try to control the hair as much as possible so which meant putting as little as possible black so it wouldn't spread everywhere and then for each keychain i wanted to have um at least two colors now when i did the first batch i did like some one color ones but i really like having several colors i really want to try to do three colors but the mold it's kind of small and so I think I'm really going to be sticking with the two colors on these um but yeah it, it really turned out uh great uh with the the pink and the coral were different enough to where I could I don't know if I actually used uh pink and coral together on any of them I'm looking at them now and no I didn't um so they are they're close but um they are far enough apart to where these uh will be differentiated and um i just i just love uh how it's coming along having a lot of fun with this and uh i turned i made way more black than i needed i i feel like i had almost exactly the right amount for the um for the uh other the colors so i'm excited to keep doing these and i'm glad i'm finally getting started because you know i told you guys that uh i am going to be a part of a, a club uh in the fall it's a um you know a yarn club where you know a certain theme is picked and the dyer is dyeing up the yarns and uh part of the the package will be my, my keychains will be part of the package and you guys i've had this partner and collaboration this will be my third i think third time collaborating with this dyer and that would be uh diane from lady dye yarns and i'm excited to uh continue on with the collaboration uh the first time i kind of made i made bags <laughs> the second time i made uh stitch markers and this time it'll be the keychains and i'm i'm excited to be a part of it it's it's um it's a cool thing um to work together with people who um have uh, similar values and uh everything like that so uh, i'm excited about it and so yep i'm finally getting started because it's a fairly big order and because i am you know i'm a full-time employee uh <laughs> so i can only do these in my spare time and so i am going to try my best to kind of knock out at least um 10 to 20 of these every week and hopefully be done with this in the next um i would say hopefully in the next five to eight weeks i will get done with it and be able to ship them off um but it's so fun to i have always loved color and uh it's fun to pick the colors to add into these and so uh I'm so glad uh, to have this opportunity and I look forward to even making more of these to put into my shop. Now, what I did notice when you look at these, I don't know if you can tell from your view and I, you probably can tell if you look sort of at the top of the screen and to the right and you look at the two molds that are right next to each other. One is actually slightly bigger than the other uh, of the Afro girls. And so that's because I ordered these on AliExpress and like I tell you that you can find multiple sellers selling the same thing and so with this um I was really looking for like somebody some seller that would sell them at a decent price and not have a high shipping because the thing is with AliExpress you waiting forever uh to get your things and that's the price you pay for the low low price uh as they're coming from China however you know I don't I don't want to pay high shipping when I'm already, I'm waiting. I'm willing to wait, so I want free shipping. And so the three that I showed in my haul earlier today, they are slightly bigger than the ones that I already uh, hauled. Um, so that's okay, though. I don't, I don't, I think I still have some more coming. Um, but yeah, so 
Uh, that's just sort of how it goes. You you go to whatever seller you're going to go to, get what you're going to get, and then just sort of deal with it. Um, but it, it it's going to be fine because it's, you know, each kit, each club, each person who purchases the club will get one. So they won't know that one is bigger than the other. And even if they did, it wouldn't matter. You know, it really doesn't matter. It's not that big of a difference. And so... Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see how these kind of turn out once we, it's always really exciting to unmold, uh, resin pieces to see what they look like on the other side. Um, so I've had success with these kind of molds. I think the, the most challenging ones are either the really small gummy bears, because you got to make sure you get that, um, resin into the nooks and the crannies or the, um, uh, the uh, the bookmarks are really challenging too, um, because you got to get it just right, the just the right thickness, so it's not flimsy, and so those are challenging. But these molds, uh, I really enjoy uh, doing this, and I know um, Priscilla uh, of Distinctive Crochet asked me what uh, special precautions that I take when I'm doing this. And, um, I talked to my husband cause I was wondering, I, I have a terrible sense of smell. And so I asked him if he could smell this particular resin. He said that he could tell that I was doing something, but it was not nearly as strong as the amazing casting, clear casting resin that I used before. And, um, so he gave me that feedback that uh the uh it's not as strong now because my sense of smell is terrible and because you're supposed to anyway i am going to be using a mask uh in the future especially because i got to make so many of these um if i'm it's like if i'm only making like every once in a blue moon i don't worry too much about it but i'm going to be making a lot of these and so i will be inhaling these these uh fumes so i do have a mask which i will put a picture at the end of the mask that i will be using in the future um you see that i have on gloves i always wear gloves when i work with the resin and i always make sure that the house is uh the doors are open windows are open and if i was working in the kitchen area i would have been under the um the fan but i was really not near that so um i just had the door open making sure that there's proper air flow through the apartment so that i'm not inhaling all of these fumes so those are the precautions that i take uh you see me working on my cutting mat and what i I meant to do was put one of my non-stick uh craft mats on top of this but I completely forgot and so I had to like hurry up and try to uh get any drippings of resin off of it because of sh I surely did drip on it uh if it gets hardened completely you cannot get it off and so uh I am uh I tried to grab everything off as much as I could, uh, but uh, I, I'm going to have to cut on the other side probably from there on out because I missed I missed uh, some things. I didn't get them all. I didn't get all the drops, and so you could tell that I got a little bit of... Um, a little bit of a weird uh, texture on top. So I'll be using the other side to cut from here on out because I completely forgot. Anyway, I, um, so yeah, you want to protect your surface that you're working on because this jive, once it solidifies, uh, if you're not on something that's non-stick, it's just going to live there from here on out. And I've got the drips on another table to prove it. I got a couple drips on this mat already that, uh, won't come off and i know you can see there you can see some of the drops and drips but i do eventually get most of them up um so that i don't completely ruin my mat you see there i go cleaning that up so that i don't ruin the mat completely anyway so i'm coming down to the end and i really wish that the lighting was just a tad better so you could see the colors are way more vibrant and when they get done i will be posting pictures so you can see but the colors are more vibrant than what you are seeing or at least what i am seeing um uh <laughs> 
<laughs> what I'm sorry, I'm getting texts from my, my kid. Uh, but from what I am seeing, um, I am, uh, I'm looking at, um, through the, what I'm seeing on the video, these, the colors are not nearly as vibrant as they are in real life. So, uh, but yeah, these are going to be so cute and I'm excited to, uh, add all the other little charms and things and, um, to them so that they will be just fun little pieces for people to have and you hook on your project bags or just use them as keychains in general. Um, but really, uh, the process is pretty simple. I think I was worried here because I'm doing so many at once. I didn't know if I was go going to, if the resin was going to start setting up because the last time that I uh, sat down to do resin, I made so much resin. I mixed up so much and I didn't have nearly enough molds out and I got so caught up in uh, working with the 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 molds and putting things in that I still had a ton left in my plastic cup and by the time I went to go ahead and um start using that one it was already like a uh, hardened like a popsicle and so <laughs> I couldn't use it. I ended up having to throw it away. So that resin is set up so quickly. This one, like I said, it said it had a 40 minute um, working time. And I think that that was actually true because it took me a minute to get through all of this stuff. And it really actually wouldn't have minded if the black had started to set up a little bit because if it sets up somewhat then it won't spread as much and I didn't want it to like just completely spread but the way that this these resins work they are self leveling so once you put them in they will move until they're completely flattened out and it's not more on one side than the other as long as you have them on a surface that is flat so if you have a surface that's slanted, of course they're going to be slanted. But uh, they are self-leveling and um, it, it, it sort of just spreads once you put it in. And so I was really trying uh, for the black to stay up in the hair area. And I think I did okay with that, especially with the use of the pipette. It really helped to uh, use the pipette and not use... Um, um, and not just pour it in. So, because that way I could use smaller amounts and get up in the nooks and crannies. And then um, I could come back in with my color. I have to say the little mixing cups that, that I use for the color, those worked out beautifully. That will eventually be a repurchase from uh, AliExpress. They, they worked out beautifully. I do want to get some of the silicone cups, though, for the actual mixing of the, the bulk not bulk mixing, but, you know, before I add the color, I mix up as much resin that I think I'm going to need. And I really want to get some silicone ones so that I can easily clean them. So I am coming down to the end of filling up all of these molds. And you will see I still have a lot of the black. I'm, I'm at the point of sort of scraping all of the colors, but I still actually had uh, uh, quite a bit of some of the colors. I didn't, I ran out of the purple pretty quickly. So I think that with the purple, um, I didn't make as much um, because I really eyeballed. Once I mixed it up, when I measured it out and put it into different, um, the little measure, the different mixing cups, I just eyeballed that. So I think I just uh, didn't put as much into the purple uh, one. And so now I'm realizing I still have a lot of resin left over, especially the black. And so I was trying to decide uh, what to do. Now I could have just like made, uh, I could have chosen any kind of mold, but I really just wanted to use them up. And so I went and I got one of my other molds that I recently hauled. And you will see me bring it in here in a second. Um, I'm going to, I can't believe I was still recording right here. Uh, cause I had the ability to pause the video, but apparently I did not. And I, <laughs> I went looking for another mold so that I would be able to use up all of the um, 
the resin that I still have left over. So I'm back finally. I can't believe I didn't pause it. But uh, I found uh, one of the keychain molds that I recently uh, hauled in one of my videos um, from AliExpress. And I figure, you know, the bigger the better so that I could use up all of the uh, leftover resin. And I thought that I was only going to be able to make one with the resin that I still had left over. I still had turquoise. I still had uh, coral. And so I thought that that was going to be that. But what happened is I still had so much black left that um, I, I end up making three of these. And you will see that in a second where I am... Um, um, I end up going back and mixing up just a little more coral so that I can use it all up. But basically, uh, that this is it. That's all I have. Um, I ended up making these the bigger keychains. What I'm gonna do with those is I'm going to um do what I did with the other ones. I'm gonna put uh permanent vinyl on the front, some type of wording, uh, some type of uh fun phrases or fun images will go on the front probably crafty related but yeah so I still had like uh the turquoise I still had the black and I still had the coral and even after this I'm still gonna have some coral left and I will use that but in the very last one I only had black left but I didn't want to just do a solid black so I went ahead and mixed up uh, just a tad bit more of the um, the coral. But here, this is the last bit of the coral. I decided to put that at the bottom of the keychain. And then come back in with just the black on that one. And then I do the opposite on the final one. So that is pretty much the whole process all done and all set. I'm so glad you guys uh, joined me for this craft with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, having fun with this kind of video as usual. Oh, look at that. It looks like I did have, did I have a little pink left? I think I had a little pink left, but as I'm looking at these things as they're curing now, I don't really see that pink. So we'll see if I'm. Um, if, if that shows up when we uh, demold it. But I guess I did have a little bit of the lighter pink. I'm excited because I do have like the opportunity I, uh, to uh, use some other um, glitters that I haven't used. I have a rose gold that I'm excited to use. I definitely got colors that I can use for uh, uh, copper colored hair. I am so excited to get that done. So uh, that'll be the next batch. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to mix up and decide on a hair color and then decide on. Um, and so all of them, each batch, all of them will have the same hair color. And then I would do whatever I do for the rest of it but I'm excited and this one I didn't add any of the chunky yarn so you see you see that like when I'm looking at it right now that black ended up spreading in that second one to where I can't right now even see the pink but I'm hoping you can still see it on the front of the um keychain when we demold it which will be tomorrow evening or to tomorrow during the day we will go ahead and demold all of these and then uh, I end up uh, going ahead and mixing uh, some more coral for this last one. And um, that'll be that for this video, guys. I'm not sure if I <laughs> just let the camera keep rolling so you can, while I was considering and figuring things out um, or what. But I think... Um, yeah, I don't know what I did. I'm not seeing um, me coming up with anything. I think maybe I'm mixing. <laughs> ah, hopefully, I'm about to pour. Hope, I'm hoping I'm about to pour uh, whatever I've already mixed. Uh, did I? Did I? Hi. Hi. I'm actually going to show you guys me mixing <laughs> just a tiny bit. 
just a tiny bit of um the uh resin so that I could have just a little more color because I just couldn't settle my mind on just a totally black one. I decided that I wanted it to have some color and so that's what I did. I think uh, I am still going to go ahead and end this voiceover right now. And um, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, stay tuned at the end. I will, once I demold these, I will put some pictures at the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoy making them. And um, yeah, it's it's been fun. I, I love doing YouTube. I love crafting. And so I love crafting on YouTube. <laughs> Anyway, gang, uh, I will cut it here and I will talk back to you guys and see you at the end of the video. Hopefully, uh, I will have pictures for you. All right. Bye. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to say goodbye and I will see you guys um, in the next video. And hopefully, if you just stay tuned to the end, uh, I will. I'm going to stay. Uh, not upload this video until I have some pictures to show you of the demolded um, keychain. So, hope you guys have a great day, and I will definitely see you in the next video. In the meantime, until we meet again, keep it crafty. Bye.